Welcome back YouTube Triple E7 Skills here for a little bit of a different type of video. It's going to be Future Stars Team 1 versus first Future Team Star 2. It's a little bit interesting and there's going to be two segments, maybe three if we need to have a tiebreaker. The first one is going to be like a live interactive mode like computer versus computer which is sometimes interesting. The second segment is going to be a career mode. It's, these are young players so it's going to grow a lot faster and we're using their actual card not their base. Like a 77 now it's like an 89. So whoever wins the league or champions league I think it'll do champions league but they're going to be in the same league. I don't know. I don't know, we'll figure out later, but in the third one, if it needs to be, I have a tiebreaker, it's going to be a Volta match. I kind of want to see that because those are a lot more interesting. But Team 1 on Arsenal, it's going to be Arsenal versus Tottenham, I guess, why not? And let's start in the back. Both teams are going to have like, a random 85 rated goalkeeper, make it even, because there's no goalkeepers in this promo. Then there's going to be Konate, 89, I mean, there's a pretty nice little back line. Indica, there's no left back, so either I have Tomiyoshu, or... Indica, but Indica is just better than him. And Pedro Poro, that's a really nice card, I must say. Tuchimene, I guess. I don't know how to say him, his name, but the guy looks good. He says, look at that card. Emil Smith, bro, I love the man. Arsenal, so he's playing on his actual team. Bellingham, I mean, his football speaks for itself. Malovic, I actually have his, one of his cards in my team. A beast, just lacks aggression. Torres, I mean, he's doing great for Barcelona, I, I feel like. Really changed it a little bit. Raheem Diaz, put him on the left. I mean, he has a pretty nice card. I use his dribbling and it's amazing. Drop Pedro, nice little backup. We have Dan's God. Amazing free kick in the Euros. Very interesting. I can't wait to see him grow. Drink out a little bit of a dead season so far. Hopefully, he can step it up a little bit. Cunha, the person who got injured recently. Hope he can get the bag. Get that potential. Elmas, I love this man in career mode. I mean, look at the hair. I love it. For some reason, but man, he's slow. He reminds me of a little bit of a Ruben Gigi. And told me I should be spoke about him, but he, he's a better center back than fullback for sure. Could a Gakpo? I thought he would have better potential if he's one of the ones with a higher base overall, a 79. Haji, Jonas Haji, must be his father. I have his card, this is SBC, and he's a little iffy. Just needs. I'm um, actually, yes, he's a Calfi. I mean, whatever. Ramos, not Sergio Ramos, but this guy just as much physicality and is a beast. And then we got Cabral, just, and he looks pretty nice. A little bit more of a weaker version of Vahadovic, and then just a random goalkeeper. The thing about this team compared to the other one, this has a lot more attackers. This one only has two backup fullback, like defenders. So in the career mode, it's not going to be as good because there's, there's no depth, but there's lots of high rated players. And like a Vahalovic is 22 years old, or a Bellingham, an 18 year old 93 rated. The end of the season is probably gonna be like it. Team 2 is on Tottenham, and we already start off with Gil. And yeah, he looks weird. I don't like the mustache or his mop on his head, and he's a good haircut. And then Gure, I mean, that's the, he's such a good card. It's not his exact stats in foot, just to make it faster. But like his foot card is 88 rated, but it comes out to be like 91. Works. He has a great future, just the faster version of. Mulder in every way, I think is better. Uh, Pedri, I think he's like one of the only good things about Barcelona this year. I don't know about this year, but look at that dribbling. Like, it just looks amazing. Ravenberg, the taller version of Root Bullet. He's he has all 80 plus in those stats, and this looks amazing. Gallagher, a great card, a little bit more defending to put him also in that category, but just needs that weak foot, I would say. The Croy, 98th pace. He's actually had 99, but take it down a little bit because this is insane. Saliba, another great fast one. Took two French players from Pong, one of the only Bundesliga players, and he has an 86 and an 88 card, so just kind of combine it to have an 87. And I am not getting that card. I mean, it's nice, but it does not fit in my team. Tengangu, yes, he's a right, right back or center back. Probably best as a center back. But they need a left back. Actually, they don't. They have Miranda, but put him in, I guess. On the bench, Okay, also, Gulashki is the 85 rated player, because why not? Daka? Oh my goodness, this card looks amazing. The speak, it speaks for itself. Raspadori, I love this card. I have a Serie A uh, player of the month. 83 rated, it's insane, it's so clutch. So I hope he gets subbed on. Chukwiza, I mean, look at that speed. If they need someone faster, but it works, then they got him. G Adams is American. 
But yeah, look at that. 88 pace for CDM. And he's pretty tall, right? Oh no, correction, he's not tall at all. Eh, can't quit. He, I think he's more of a center mid, but with, he's just like a more dribbling version and technical version of Adams. And yeah, they're both the same high and everything. Abanza, that pace looks insane. A lot of these players, like, there's so much growth to it that they're just really fast. That looks really, like a really nice card. Miranda, I got him in my times 10 pack. Not the best, but yeah, I mean, if I need some, I guess I'll use him. Gabor, extremely fast. Kind of like a little bit version of Firm Pong, is a worse version. How old is he? 20, okay. Lowering, Lowering, whatever, okay. Same thing, very fast, he can dribble, the basic winger, young winger, why not? Uh, Salisu, the ton, like, actual depth in the defense department. He, it looks like a, this is an overall decent person. Then Darwin Nunes, formerly a striker and better a striker, but this card came out to be a left winger, so I turned him to a left winger, just fast, and he's just a shooting version as a left winger. And then just a random goalkeeper on the bench. Both teams look very even, but I don't really know who to say is going to win this challenge. So, if this stadium looks familiar, good in some park. Where is that from? My career mode in Everton. So, Arsenal versus Spurs is a lot better version of both sides. It's going to be like a Premier League game, I guess. It's going to be seven minute halves. Of course, we're going to clip it for you guys because it's going to be too long for that. It's going to be legendary difficulty and player-based difficulty is going to take a little bit of a bump in here. And I might change the camera ups a little bit to try new things up. Put down your comments below which one's the most enjoyable to watch with the cameras because it's just experimenting. Bellingham, oh, this man is definitely the player to watch in this game. And let's just go ahead and jump in and watch. Uh, it looks kind of like a Premier League game, like with the camera, but of course not going to be as fun watching as me playing, but you never know. It's a lot more possession, possession versus possession. Gil, can you get two blitz? Oh, nice. A bad touch for Tommy, oh, Pedro Poro. And you can't really see everything fully, but why not? But not that, the Pedro Poro. And I might be doing these types of videos like once a week. So we like have like the prediction video, we have the career mode video, and then we have a little challenge. This is just to start off because a little, because it's what's happening right now. But on the attack, oh, Emil Smith Rowe falling down. Maybe just a little bit of a dummy though. Ooh, and whoever that player was just going down. Ah, bad pass from Emil. Diction it. I'm going in for Tottenham. I'm going to win this. I don't know why I have a suspicion with them winning it. The midfield is insane. Gore, what can you do? Oh. Oh, good defending. They need to do a little bit more working together. So, Jude Bellingham. Belhovic. Mail Smith throw. Ooh, good save from Gulashki. He's not even supposed to be in this team. I wish there was actual goalkeepers. They could have put like Ramsdale in here. Well, the youngsters. It's, it's a good strike, but saved it at the end. Oh, look at the injury thing. I never realized that, FIFA. Okay, they're going short. Ferran Torres. Oh, uh, it's a poor chip over the top. Bellingham. Ooh! I did, we do not see that often. Jude Bellingham. Naughty, naughty little boy. I mean, we had to see the game with this weak foot. That's a 93 rated card. Yeah, I want that. Because so I changed the tactics to make it as even as possible. Gallagher. Oh, Pedri. Pedri, what can you do? And Pedri scores! It's a good counter attack. And Edward Mendy could not get his hand to it. It's a nice build up play. I'm a little surprised to have a finesse with his left foot to win it. Those never go in, at least for me. But computer strikes are a little, strikes are a little bit more sane. Yeah. I mean, look at this. I mean, no, one def who's, no one's defending Pedri. And it's a strike. Edward Mendy could have got a hand to that, but this does not. 25th minute and 1 0. Calty. A little. It's just the better version of Kane, maybe. Actually, like it's like Holland, but maybe, maybe. Oh no, no attack! And they're passing in the back stupidly. That's not the smartest. Look at Chimenez. Handball looks like in there, maybe. Yes, from Connor Gallagher. Uh, Brahim Diaz with it. Gonna set it off for Konate. What can? What is he gonna do from here? Is he gonna strike? He is, but it's gonna be easily blocked off. Back to Pedri. He's attacking the wing. Oh, and is that a foul? Ref. VAR coming in. No foul. Corner. And it's short. Wurtz. 
He needs to be a little bit more involved. He gets packed. Shadow ba. I wonder who, who's doing his thing. Because the last little part's a little annoying. But okay. Short again. I don't know why both these teams like doing short. Oh, that's horrible from Wurtz. They need to do more attacking. Maybe when we do the attack, like tactics, we just don't put all balance. Because I want to make it sure it's as even as possible with the tactics. So it's just the players coming into play. Okay. Oh, it's a through ball. What can Farron Torch do? Holds it back. Oh, too much, too much. Yeah, that attack's over. Arsenal doing too much there, maybe. Wait, is it not done? Emil? Oh, there. I saw that man doing having a great run. Pujaminye? Having a little physicality to hold the ball. And Bellingham. Gravenberch has been a beast in this midfield. I mean, when you're compared to someone like Ruth Hullet, of course you're going to be a beast. Gore? Holding the ball up well. A little weird. Okay. Bell Bellingham hasn't really done too much, though. Like, in the midfield. Back to Gore. To Frimpong. Maybe some pace from him. Gallagher has no left foot. We know that. Let's see. A right foot strike. And Edward Mendy gets his hand to it. No. Oh, Pedri. That seems like a good attack. What can Pedri do against Pedro Poro? Pedri. Pedro Poro. Too many peas. Uh, I don't know. And counter attack against in the last minute. They really have to attack. Okay. Send that ball. Oh, Vahadovic. Looking at the stats, Arsenal are a lot more attacking, but cannot score in the final third, which is a lot like real life. But then the second team, a lot more defensive. They're kind of more organized. And in general, they just they look better, I guess. I mean, not really attackingly, but they get the goal and less chances. A little bit Golashki helping them a little bit. Just a little bit. Hopefully we can see more attacking quality though from team one okay they kick this off arsenal wonder how this is going to go because they need a goal or they're not going to do anything what i wanted to see though is going to penalties because that's always interesting a penalty shoot up between the two sides arsenal already on the attack uh like they hold their shape so well team two but me oh they get past the player oh is that a penalty and it's the penalty. I, wait, we are? That's a penalty. LaCroix? Oh, no more TikTok dancing for you, Emil. Now the question is, who's going to step up to take this penalty? Vahalovic is going to take this. Can he score? No, he doesn't! He hits the post! But the attack's not over. They can always score something from here. Oh, that's going to kick him in the butt. But maybe. Smith Rowe. Oh, and it's a good save from Gulashki. Okay, Bellingham. Just gotta be rude. Get some revenge on Gravenberch. That's not a shooting opportunity. That's obviously a block. Yeah, it just... Decision making from Team 1 is not the best. Okay. Good to go. Oh! Ooh, from him in the back. And that's a yellow card from, for Tucha Minye. Hopefully that won't damage anything. I think Arsenal, what Team 1 needs to do is make a sub. What do they do? Like, they just look, Team 1 looks so much open. Oh, and it's a strike. Who is that from? Gure? Yep, it's from Gure. And just so rushed there. Because that strength and size can really threaten a team. But not when he's dribbling like that. To Emil. What can he do? Back into Vahalovic. Is that their ball? Is going, Keeper going to get to that? That's obviously going to be the Keeper's ball. Arsenal? Team 1? Whatever, I don't know. And that's going to be a goal. That is what you get for when you have Vyalovic. Oh, and he's taken down. Oh, the two lovebirds. And Valentine's Day showing each other love. That's what we like to see. Okay. That's a nice turn. Oh, yeah, that's a really nice turn. The finish. Side netting, I believe. No, not really, but it's a nice finish. And it's one all right in court already. Basically, abandoning your team. Oh, and go right. Uh, <gasps> no. Oh, go right. The post. I he got past the man, and I thought he was gonna go for. I liked him to score immediately after. They look threatening. Oh, Connor Gallagher. The go right. What can go right do? Off the gill, and right at Edward Mendy. But great handling. It's gonna be a counter attack. Oh no, no. Okay, okay, okay. It's a good ball. 
Gray, he knows how to dribble. Oh, but Chalupa! Chala. Gets the ball. Bellingham. Can he show his technical ability anymore? He has that size. Okay, Gil. Well, Diaz. Oh, kind of Gallagher. Uh, send that ball. Send that ball. Emil. What can Emil do? Oh, okay, Emil. Emil. You know, he's going to show some love to the manager. He's actually an Arsenal person. Arteta over there. Oh, that, that just seems right. 2-1 in Arsenal. Team 1. Finally, get the goals. Great ball from Vyalovic on his weaker foot. And then, oh, Gulashki's helpless in goal. Just look at the finish. It's precisely the left corner. And that's all. That's uh, look, That might be all she wrote for this first part. Right? What can he do? He strikes the ball well. Ooh, ooh that must hurt. Oh, yeah, horses. I forgot. Let's see if I'd see him play was on the corner kick. Smith Rill. Oh, that's a good ball. Can grab it. Can Bellingham get to the ball? He can, maybe? No. It's gonna be a free kick, but it's gonna go to team two. The 81st minute, it looks like some subs are finally going to take it in. The right winger for team two be taken out for Chukweze. That pace is gonna be incredible. Well, only if they actually use him. And they're already using that pace. He looks super small and quick compared to Dendika. Oh, that's a risky challenge. That's a risky ball. But they got it. Team 2, but Team 1 seems to be filled with a lot more physical players. Like Tall. Like, there's Vahalovic. The strikers are extremely strong. Okay. Well, like, why? Bellingham is just doing great. Oh, and that's just a horrible challenge. Is that going to be a yellow card? Who is that, anyway? Is that Pedri? You don't see that from Pedri much. Much. Really? Okay, yeah, it's gonna be a yellow card. Yeah, but it's a yellow card. I know those animations. And what's Gulaski doing in the midfield? Okay, the striker's taken off. Gray off for Raspadori. Can okay, be smart and boring. Bellingham? Gulaski needs to get his hand to that. Okay. It's the 80th minute. Hopefully, they can get some extra time. Oh, yeah, because this is my team. I wanted to win. Oh. Okay, what's the extra time? Probably not much. Plus four. That's nice for them. But the, can they hold on? Okay. They're, oh, they look like they're going to hold back. It'd be boring. Because they want the win. Oh, wow. That's not a good challenge from Conor Gallagher. They really want that ball. They, get the free kick. Oh, what's going on? Is it... Wait, wait, okay, no. Weird. Gulashki, you have to go. What are you doing? Go, go, go. Yeah, less than a minute. Okay, we got a couple seconds left. They they have to make it from this. You cannot go backwards. You cannot go backwards. Attack, attack. CPU is dumb in this game. You have to attack. Team one wins segment one. Okay. Yeah, they were the better side. Okay. Interesting. We're going to have to have a victor in that segment, so. It's a nice one. A goal from Emil Smith Rowe is a really nice one. But who needs a kid a meal? Like, really? So the way this works is I'm going to be playing a team like Aston Villa so I don't interfere with anything. Hopefully the teams don't sign anyone that could infect them massively. But we're going to check in at the end of the season to see who wins first the Premier League and then the Champions League. Okay. I tried. Oh. Well, Team 2 already knocked out. Hey, let's see if our, how Arsenal do anyway. Um, they get first. I mean, actually, I was not fair to, to Team 2, putting them against them, but Milan, wow. Surprisingly doing that well. Okay, Arsenal, they draw Borussia Dortmund. Char Charlie Little. Interesting. They, uh, they lose against Real Madrid. Okay, we talk Dortmund. Uh, where are you, Arsenal? Manchester City in the... That's surprising. 3-1. CMA Finals. They beat Real Madrid. Well, of course, like, Arsenal, they win the competition. They win this level thing. But, okay. And, okay, they're going against Ajax. And they beat Ajax, obviously. Because, yeah. Good job, Arsenal. You win. It doesn't really mean anything, but let's just see how they do. Okay, 
So, do they get top five? They get top five. Wait, no. The top and them team don't. And, okay. Team one, they get third place. I'm curious about how did not my team do. Where is it? Okay, let's go and see. Who, who's the top goal scorer? Uh, top goal scorer. Darwin. Okay, Ronaldo. But Darwin Nunez. 22 goals. And then Dams God was the top goal scorer for the Arsenal team. Do I see any other danglers in there? Um, I, yes, I do. I see Daka with 15 goals. Okay, let's see. Assists. Cornet. Really nice for him. Darwin Nunez, 10 goals. I wonder why he was playing a lot. Because there was other players that could like, go over him. That was probably better. Dams God as well, 7 goals. Okay, those two seem to do great. Let's see clean sheets. Clean sheets don't really do much. Mendy probably helped them a lot. Because... We're, okay. Looks like signings were made by them. And while we're here, let's just see if there was any signings between the teams. Also, we could probably see the overall because they're so high rated already. Okay, first team we're going to look at, Arsenal. Let's see the attack. Cabral, okay. No one seems to be going up, up in uh, overall. Yeah, no, no one's going up in overall. That's interesting. I thought they would skyrocket. I guess because of potential. They, they're already over exceeding their potential. But I really thought their potential would be higher. I mean, of course, their, their value is really high. But they did not make any signings. I mean, Edward Mendy was the only one that went up. But I'm I think I saw that Tottenham signed a player. They, they bought Ikesson. Ikesson. That's a little sad. I feel like they got rid of someone here. Who was playing left winger in the actual thing? Can I remember? I cannot remember. But I know Darn New Nunez was not playing there. Uh, well, whatever. Uh, oh, Gil was. He was playing. I guess he just didn't want to play left winger. Weird. Um, yeah, okay. Anyway, they signed Gabriel. So that's two players. So good thing they didn't win it because of. They signed. One, two, three, four, five goalkeepers. What? Okay. okay. That's just weird. They don't deserve when they signed the players. I mean, it was an interesting challenge. And Arsenal and Team One, they are the victors of this challenge. I hope you all enjoy this different type of a video. And uh, and don't forget to put down a comment down on how you felt about it if you want to see more of this. And if you're new, look, leave a subscribe because we're doing free. Because why not? And like if you're new, like if you want to. With why not? And I would too. I mean, these videos are amazing. No, flatly. And we're gonna end it off there with Belling Kim standing next to his trophy. An angry content because he cannot win anything. Probably because of Spurs. Realistic. Bye bye.